and this flight is filled with my long range that I've basically built myself. It was a freestyle drone with a lot smaller motors, uh, smaller propellers, uh, not a good receiver, not a good VTX, etc. I'm now running a 1200 milliwatt uh, VP, I think it's called uh, FPV Chaos, which has got four power levels. Now that's 5.8. I'm running a Butter Camera One frame, dead cat style, with six inch props by props at the front and five inch at the back because I can't put six inch because the legs are short, the arms are too short. I'm trying to find longer arms and I can only find places in America and it's going to cost me more money in shipping than the actual parts themselves, so I'm not prepared to basically do that. So this flight is, well you know where it is, it's around uh, Swarkson Pavilion area, there's like fields around the back. And I was just testing this, now this isn't fast forwarded, this is how fast I was flying or not flying on that day. I'm using a GoPro Hero camera. Um, I've tweaked the angles so the next few videos there should be more sky when I'm going, uh, when I'm diving down. I've got the angle tipped further back on that camera so it should give you more uh, sky view because when it's like really cloudy and it's like nice and blue, it's nice to get a bit of contrast with the clouds. Um, in this field, you're going to see me come over like a water pond and I believe it's some sort of irrigation system there's a big pond here and I've seen water in all these dikes all around these fields and I think they're all being fed from here. I don't know if there's a pump house somewhere about but there's a lot of water there and there's, there's irrigation channels all around these fields. So, uh, and I've seen a guy on a motorbike drive into that area to probably check it out to make sure it's still working. This is on a 1500 milliamp uh, 4S battery, 100 or 120C rating. I love this kind of shot where you get the shadow of the drone on the floor and low to the ground when the sun is out and then punch out when you need to. This is an area where you see that beaten path, you can walk through these fields. So this is public right of way. And it takes you all the way from Swartzen's Canal, you can walk all the way to Swartzen's Pavilion, which is where the green grass is. You walk across all these mud fields and this green grass. Now, I've now fitted GPS to this drone and I've actually got it to work. So this flight, I've got the GPS as in I've got the coordinates, the flight distance, the flight direction and all of that kind of thing in altitude but when I hit the switch uh, the GPS didn't actually do anything I've now using the Speedybee app because I've got a Speedybee V2 um, flight controller and I can use, and that's a Bluetooth as well so if I wanted to I can use um, either over Bluetooth or I can plug in a USB into my phone and into the drone itself just depends what you want to do. Uh, I use the lead sometimes, I use the Bluetooth. But the main reason for this flight was just to test out the motors. Are they getting warm? They're not getting warm at all on 4S. They're getting very, very hot on 6S. So I tend not to use 6S on them. I don't know why they're getting hot. The screws aren't touching the windings or anything like that. But for some reason, I get a lot of oscillations and it, the motors get extremely hot so I prefer not to use those motors if I can help it. I'm using Emacs Eco 2's 2807's I'm using uh, FPV Chaos 1.2 VTX I'm using Express LRS receiver with the sort of like the, like the black sheep uh, antenna, whatever you call it, uh, the hard one. 
uh, fitted to the arm and I'm using uh, Ethics Props by Props uh, two pink at the front and grey at the back and it works guys I've now done some flights with my return to home it rises to the desired height and it comes back in the right direction then I turn it off and instead of it falling out of the sky which is what it was doing before it actually lets me take re-control over the drone and I land it and take over so I've been Gadget Mail 404 you guys have been awesome as always stay safe fly safe keep each other safe and I'll catch you in the next one all right guys cheers Gadget Man 404 out see you in the next one bye